What's up guys, welcome to the WST channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. Today we're talking about CR1 coming against UPND once again. And he was against PF and they lost the election. It's been bitter about PF for some time and then they lost the election. But right now in this specific video is highlighting few points that mistakes that UPND is making currently in this kind of government and is assuring them that they will lose the election. Please subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts in the comments. Bye. During election, a lot and a lot of people that helped you during election that you can help, that need help, leave teaching back and with If you are a bishop or a prophet and you want to be, you you are you call yourself a president, a church, and and you want to all of a sudden you want to leave politics to come and do brotherly love and sisterly love, you resign and go and open a church. If you really, really wanted to forgive Kambiri, you pardon him. He has a lot of money. His family are not in Zambia. His wife is not there. His children are not there. Kambiri can afford to go to any country where he wants and take care of himself. I am saying that million you want to spend on Kambiri, use it on your people, the people that campaign for you. Use it and better their lives. Use that money and the better the life of people that campaign for teaching back or campaign for you. That is what I'm saying. That is what CIA1 is saying. I am saying that money that you wanted to waste on teaching back and build, use it on your people. The people that you used and abandoned, your people are dying in the bushes. Your people are crying. They are poor all over. You are eating alone and the remaining, you want to use it to take care of Kambuid. I say, don't associate yourself with him. If you love him, because to you, you are a wise man. We are fools. You made us to destroy Kambuiri. Eh? You made us to destroy Edigalungu. And behind, you pick up your phone and start calling Edigalungu and start begging, my brother, my brother. So Edigalungu must see you as a good person, then see us as a bad person, right? This game will not end well. It's not C1 that you can use and dump. It's not possible. People are suffering in Zambia because of corruption. The corruption that is taking place. If you doubt me, as I come with evidence, one of the presidential advisors at State House today, his family is the biggest mine supplier. Now, you are getting contracts using the influence of the government. How about the people that campaign? When they come to you, you tell them, eh, no opportunity, work very hard. Are you working hard yourself? I said to you, leave Kambuiri. That guy is going to ignite a war between me and you. You think that you are fools. Somebody told you, eh, forget about CR1. CR1 has lost influence. CR1 cannot do anything. CR1 has lost influence. I am here live, unannounced, and almost 6,000 people are watching. What happened when I announced that I'm coming here? You are a fool to think that that can ever happen. I told you, leave this guy. Why is it that when you get into power, you become a fool? Eddie Galungu was a very good guy. Eddie Galungu was listening to me and he was listening to everybody. He was a very humble guy. The moment he took over power, he became a fool. The same thing has happened to a church. That is why you had the audacity. You and Siva Masobo carry the money, the, the millions that you can give to your party. You can actually donate it to your party secretariat. If you go to UPND party secretariat, a party in power today, it looks like a, a katemba. It looks like a place where there was war. Go to PF, the people that left power many years ago, their party is still shining. Their party structure is still shining. All the money that is coming in is going into your pocket. No one cares about the people. No one cares about the people that suffer. No one ever want to care for them. 
and you think that you are wise. You carry the money that is meant for the people of Zambia. Since you took over power, since you took over power, and you think you you think that you are clever, eh, church. You took over power, and you think that you are wise. You you don't know how you got into power. That's why when I look at your cadres, who don't know my relationship with you, who are going to who, who when they know our relationship, they they will faint. When I see them insulting me, I laugh. We put you there. We used everything possible to put you there. And we are going to remove you from there. Because you are no longer using your senses. People have deceived you. You have been deceived. 100% deceived. You have abandoned the party that brought you into power. You don't have a relationship with the party that brought you into power. You have abandoned the people of Zambia. I came here. I told you people, in peace, stay away from Chishimba Kambuiri. That guy has died politically. There is nothing he's going to offer to UPND. If Chishimba Kambuiri was very, very good, if, if he was very, very influential, why did Eddie Galungu lose the election? I told you people, I said, stay away from this guy. You went ahead because you think that now you have grown. And hey, see our one now, when he go live, only two people watch him, only three people watch him. When am I doing politics? People do not care about the ministry that I do. People follow me for politics. Have you forgotten? I am here on and now, so we are going to 7,000 people that are watching. HH, we are live today on your page. How many people watched you? Me and you, who has influence? When I announce, by the time I'm doing announcement, we are going to remove you. You are gone. You, are, you, you go. You'll be disgraced out of power. And let me tell you, losing election is not the problem. But what you will suffer, the consequence you will suffer, you will regret being a president. Why must you associate yourself with Kambuiri? Kambuiri is a criminal. He's a tribalist. Now, I was even wondering why I gave and I gave an opinion, and the UPND went ahead and disobeyed me. Why? I didn't know that you were you have actually been working with Shimba Kambuil. That is according to your that idiot with the head like a, 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 a pumpkin. That pumpkin head. What is his name? What is the name of that? Uh, what what uh, that idiot minister of uh, information? He came openly and said that they have been working with Tishimba Kambuye. Actually, for those of you that are saying, ah, he didn't mean what he said. He didn't mean watch that video very very well. That is why I commend you, Fred Membe. For standing up and going to report that case to the police. Leave it there at the police. We are going to use that case in 2025 when politics become hot. You will know. Let's watch the police and see what they will do. That man said, actually, let me disclose. Meaning there was an agreement, a hidden agreement between the UPND and Tishimba Kambui. For UPND to go and insult the people of Tonga. I mean, you can actually, man, because of politics, insult your own people. Send someone to go and insult your own person. Send someone to go and insult your own person. Your own people. You send someone because of power. If I knew that it was like this, I was never going to join myself with you. By the time I was about to join you, you PF people came and told me to say, see, Awan, look, the people you are joining to fight us, you will regret. I'm regretting. I can see that what they, they said was true. Number one, I've joined liars. But I can assure you, this is see, Awan. I've never failed before. When I tell you that you are going, this is not the first time. This is not the second time. Once I come for you and tell you that you are going, I swear no one will save you from going. You are going. You will leave. And when you leave, you are going to spend the rest of your life in jail. 
because I'm bringing to you the document of the transaction that you are doing as community house there. This is the first time. Oh, let me not go there now. But listen to this. I don't want to touch that now. I'm still coming. I want to address this case before I proceed. Listen to this very, very carefully. Zambians, even if you are a fool, you are a press singer, you don't, you don't reason. Ask yourself, how many times have I eaten today? Do you know how much the government is spending in evacuating Tishimba Kambuiri? The same man that was supposed to be in jail now. The, I know people that are in jail for stealing 100 kwacha. Please, share this broadcast. If you are watching, share, share, share. Let everyone hear that it has started. The war that UPND has declared is going to swallow them. It's going to consume them. We shall see where this is going. Ask yourself, even you, you that is watching right now,